Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal. Out here in front of me, I have my slug gun. I have taken probably more deer with this thing than anything else. This is a Weatherby PA08. Last I checked a while ago, years ago, they quit making this thing. So you're not gonna find these, but at the time you could get them as a combo with the smooth bore and the rifled barrel with the little cantilever mount. That's what this is. And I've taken tons and tons of deer with this thing in the state of Tennessee. In Tennessee, there's a lot of public land that you can hunt muzzleloader and slug guns, but you can't shoot rifles. So this is what I used for the longest time. Uh, there's a story to this one, long story short. My dad said, hey, you get your master's degree and uh, I'll buy you any gun you want. So I got my master's degree. I said I wanted this one, and then I took a whole bunch of deer with it. But yeah, I got a master's degree in business. How about that? But this is my Weatherby PA08. I have always used the same ammo um, for taking deers. This is a 12 gauge, if I didn't mention that already. But check this out. Big old Hornady slugs in here. Let me show you the box. These are Hornady SST shotgun slugs. The ones that I've always used are the 300 grainers. What's it say the speed is supposed to be on these? At the muzzle, 2,000 feet per second. So 300 grains at 2,000 feet per second, that'll definitely take a deer. I can tell you right now from experience. But awesome wood on this thing. Uh, some people might say this is too pretty to hunt with, but like I said, I've taken a lot of deer with it. And uh, several years ago, I quit hunting that property where that was shotgun only. So I haven't used it. But the reason I haven't uh, used it, a couple reasons. Last time somebody had this out, I let my nephew borrow it and he dropped the sucker and smashed the front of the scope and it's not sighted in anymore. And two, these slugs are pretty hard to find. When you do find them, they're really expensive. I just got these three boxes to make this video. Look what I paid for them. $20 per box. So I spent 60 bucks on three uh, boxes of shells here. But I now am hunting public land again in a different zone that's shotgun only. So I need this baby sighted in for deer season. And I thought it'd be awesome to make a video. But we're going to do just like we do any of the other long bing bangs. We're gonna get it close bore sided here and then take it back and side her in. She'll be ready to slap some deers in the woods of Tennessee again. Bring her back to life. Uh, been a safe queen for some years now, but give you a little up close look at it. The rifled barrel's shorter than the smooth bar barrel. It's got some pretty glossy wood on there. The Weatherby gold emblem. Got the gold trigger in it. And yeah, it's just got some nice wood. I put this thing on there, the shell holder, just because hey, deer hunting uh, in Tennessee, we can take three does a day. So you might need some more boo lights uh, chasing those deers out there. But anyways, let's get it bore sighted. Uh, this is a, a Walmart Simmons scope I put on there. Never had any problems with it handling 12 gauge recoil, but I'm gonna check the torques. On all the bolts here, then we're gonna bore sight it just like we do anything else. Get this baby sighted in, ready for slapping whitetails again. But I'm excited. This is a special one. Let's bring it back to life and get it ready for some deers. All right, so now I'm at 10 yards. I just laser bore sighted it. If you wanna know how to do that, I've got a whole video on how to laser bore sight it. I'm not showing you in this video just to make this one a little bit shorter, not to bore you guys, but I'm gonna put one of those more natty slugs in here. That paper plate you're seeing is at 10 yards. Let's just see where this one hits and we'll adjust our scope from there before we go back. These being some expensive shells, we don't want to squirrel around too much. We'll give it a little more zoomies here. See what where we're hitting here. Oh yeah, at 12 gauge, you know that uh, it hits your shoulder there, but looks like we're uh, a little bit left. It's about right where I want it to be, up and down. 
I think. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the scope just a tad bit to the right before we go back to the bench and get her sided in where we want it. Let's left. I'm going to click right on the scope, which is which way? That way. Mm, I think that should do us, but let's go back to the bench, get her sided in. Before I forget to tell you, this thing was way off from when my nephew dropped it. And also, the uh, bolts right here on the mount itself were not torqued nearly tight enough. These on the rings were torqued good, but these were not torqued nearly tight enough. Now I know everything's rock solid. It's not going to move on us, even though we're slapping some 12 gauge slugs, 300 grainers out of here. So let's go back to the bench, get her set up, ready for some whitetails. How many times can I say whitetails in this video? Can you tell that I'm excited? Give you another look at this here out in the sunlight. Probably didn't do you justice in the beginning, but this is a pretty bowling ball slinger right here. And there's those 300 grain hornadies right there. Suckers are no joke. But let's we'll see what we can do with it. I think we can do this pretty quick, but. I got a clean paper plate down there and a clean piece of cardboard, so we should see where our misses are. Let's see where this first one hits. Shotgun barely fits on there. Oh man, my camera down there is super close. I hope I don't hit it. I'm gonna give her all the zooms. And if we hit it, we hit it. This is a nine power zoomy here. That's all you need in the shotgun woods. Hey, we hit the plate, so that side end was pretty good. We adjust the scope here and we'll sing and send another one. It's left, so we need to go right. I'm gonna bring it down just a shade. Which way is that? Down is that way. Now this next one ought to hit square beans in the middle. That way we're not wasting a ton of these expensive shells here. This is going to be a pretty quick sighting. I hope. Assuming this one hits. See where we get with this one. Well, that one hit a little bit high. What happened there, fellas? Scope's not loose. Did I adjust it the wrong way? my half that one i think hit above the paper plate i know it shouldn't be grouping that terribly well, the time we adjusted it to the new hole see what happens we hit the plate again i'm gonna adjust it one more time and see if we can get a spinch closer to the middle of that plate this is about as far as I would attempt to shoot this shotgun. We only got one more slug down here. That's how confident I was in us sighting it in. Let's see where this, this last one goes here. Well, and that one hit the bottom of the plate, didn't it? Either I'm losing my mind or these are just grouping terribly. I got one more on this sling here. That sucker's rusty. That's been in that sling for years. Let me go grab another one. Let me make this adjustment while I'm sitting here looking at it. Yeah, we're going to send that rusty one. It'll be alright. As long as it loads up in there. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. All right, so that one got us really close to the bullseye as our best shot yet. I'm going to make a super small adjustment there, bring it down and right just a smidge, and we're going to call that in. But there you have it, guys. Man, that sun is right above us, isn't it? There you have it. They're sighting in my 12-gauge slug gun, my Weatherby PA-08. If you see one of these, pick them up. Uh, 
really good, especially if you can find a deal on one. Back in the day, these were not expensive at all uh, for the combo. A little bit pricier than your, you know, run-of-the-mill Wally World shotgun, uh, but way uh, well under a grand. Um, so definitely a good buy, especially if you can get that kind of wood. Ooh, but she's got a couple little cuts and chinks in her. Like I said, uh, this has seen many a day with me in the deer woods, um, taking more deer than I can remember. But when you hit a deer uh, slinging those bowling balls, those 300 grainers, uh, you normally don't have to do much tracking. But uh, something that's interesting when we're sighting them in, uh, at 10 yards, uh, that got us pretty close. Uh, get you where you need to be. But this is another tool in the toolbox when it comes to deer season. Uh, if that area is where the deers are, then we'll, uh, we'll go pull out the weather bee. But appreciate you guys watching. As always, really, really appreciate you guys big time. Appreciate you checking out this video with the 12 gauge. Make sure that you're subscribed for more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe to our friends at Heavy Metal. Appreciate you guys big time. We'll see you on the next one. 12 gauge slug gun side in. Appreciate y'all. Woo-hoo! Okay.